so uh, hello students I'd like to welcome you back and uh, I want to share with you a short lesson of uh, common problems for Cambodian ESL students ESL is English as a second language this has been my experience I've lived in Cambodia for many many years and so I speak PSA Khmer and I talk with Cambodians all over the country thousands and thousands of Cambodian adults and young people and this is what I've noticed 95% of the students studying English they make the same mistakes and so there are common mistakes that the Cambodian who is studying English makes and if you know what those mistakes are then you can focus on them you can try to change them you can work on them and so I'm telling you I teach English all over I've talked to Cambodians all over the country for many years and 95% or maybe 98% they all have the same problem and so I'm going to share with you six common problems that Cambodian English students have and my purpose is to try to help you understand so that you can correct it so that you can learn new habits number one they don't say the S at the end of the word and they put an S in the sentence where there is no S this is so common and so you must say the sound of the S when there's an S and when there is no S in the sentence don't put an S I'm telling you it happens all the time and so look problems common problems for Cambodian ESL students normally the student will say common problem for Cambodian ESL student they forget to put the S they don't say the S and so you must think if there is an S you must say it at the end plural words usually have an S at the end to say the S you need two actions of your mouth watch when you say problem problem you can say that but watch when I make it plural problems problems you need two actions of the mouth problem you need to go you need to make the sound problems students cars books and so you need that extra sound at the end and so I'm when I teach you I'm going to help you with that I will remind you all the time that's my style because I know it's a weakness I know it's a common problem and so I want to help you and remind you don't forget the S at the end of the word and also sometimes happens all the time sometimes you will put an S in the sentence when there is no S for example let's look they don't say the S at the ends of the word they don't say the S at the ends of the word there's no S the word end end of the word it's not ends but that's an example many Cambodians they do it all the time for some reason uh, they get the S in their mind they see it there but they put it in the wrong place they say it in the wrong place so that's a common problem so when I teach you I'm going to help you with that number two they don't say the consonant at the end of the word clearly so they cannot be understood okay so I practice with you the consonant the consonants B D F G K L 
M, N, those are all consonants. Typically, a Cambodian does not say them clearly at the end. And so, let's look at the word consonant. Consonant has a T on the end. Many times what I hear the Cambodian students say, consonant. Consonant. There's no word consonant. I don't know what that means. I can't understand you. Consonant takes an extra action. Consonant. Consonant. Student. Not student. Student. Vote. Vote. Watch now. Vote. And so these are the consonant sound at the end of the word. You must say it. Okay, and the, uh, the third problem, they confuse the past tense and the present tense in the same sentence. I'm just correcting homework from another class. And almost all of the students, they made this mistake. They will say something in the past tense and then they will use present tense. Let me give you an example. If I say, what did you do this morning? And you might say, I go to the market and I bought meat and vegetables and fruit. No, that's not correct. I go to the market, I'm asking you, what did you do? I'm asking you, tell me something that you did and finished already. I went to the market, all right? Look, Piasa Khmai, Masalmen, Kinyum Tapsa, Hai Kinyum Tin, Sako, Ban Lai, Plai Chirp, Sang Sang. How would you translate that in Khmer into English? Yesterday, Kinyum Tau, yesterday I go to the market and I buy. You can say it that way in Khmer, but you can't say it that way in English. You have to use past tense verb with past tense nouns together. Yesterday, I went to the market and I bought beef and vegetables and fruit. I bought beef. I bought. You have to use the past tense words. And so you can't use present tense and past tense in the same sentence. And so I'll work on that with you. Here's another problem, number four. They confuse singular and plural. Is is a singular word. It goes with a singular sentence. Are is a plural word. It goes with a plural sentence. You get confused all the time. Okay, uh, this and that are singular. These and those are plural. And so always confuse. This is another problem. Another common problem is uh, the ESL student doesn't use contractions properly. What's a contraction? I'm, your, he's, she's, I'll, they'll, will. Okay, when you say I am, I will, she is, it's correct, but it, you, it's not pretty. And so you need to learn contractions and you need to learn to say them clearly. And then number six, uh, they have difficulty saying th, 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 this, the, the, this, that, those, these, together. All right. And so it's not this, that, these. I go to the market. But man, I go to the market. I go to the, the, <laughs> the. So I'm just sharing with you, these are common problems that at least 95 to 98% of Cambodian English speakers, they make those mistakes. I'm going to help you with it. So when you study with me, that's how I'm going to help you. We're going to do exercises, we're going to do lessons, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to try to help you say it, all right? And then if you connect with me on Facebook Messenger or Telegram or WhatsApp or some other social media, you leave a voice message for me, and I will try to correct 
your English that you leave as a voice message. All right, and so this is just a, a little introductory lesson uh, just to remind you, pay attention to the S. Pay attention to the final consonant. Pay attention to the contractions, all right? And so pay attention to past tense and present tense. Think about it. Think about what you want to say. You pay attention and we will work together and I'll try to help you. Because my goal is for you to speak uh, English, American style, fluently. Let's work together and do that.